The LG B20 is right here, and today I'm doing a bit about Team Mobile guys. So I'm on FunnyRunner.com. Rainy has an article here. So as you can tell by the title of the article, it says, "Get a new phone every 30 days with Team Mobile's revised jump on demand plan." Here, so um yeah, so get a phone every 30 days sounds sounds like a win, right? Well, let's get uh, let's get into it and see what they have to. Say, but I said there's any uh, catches or anything like that. I said, remember those days when you would dream about getting a new smartphone for 24 months or so? Now with now with new features added so quickly, buying the latest handset every two years doesn't cut it. In fact, T-Mobile thinks that you should have the option to upgrade to a new, brand new model every 30 days with its revised jump on demand plan. The original version of Jumped on Demand launched in June 2015 and allowed T-Mobile customers to switch phones no more than three times each year. Here is how the latest incarnation of the plan works. T-Mobile subscribers enter into an 18 month list for a hot and new handset. Once every 30 days, the subscriber has the option to upgrade to a different model or memory size at a T-Mobile retail location. After each monthly period, the customer also has the option of purchasing the lease, handset, or canceling the lease. Since we're dealing with lease, since we're dealing with the lease, you need to make sure that make sh you need to make sure to keep your phone in working condition and looking as lovely as ever. Excess wear in the lesser excess wear is the lesser's. Excess wear is a leaser devil, and each month, as long as you keep your fan, if it, each month as long, as long as you keep your end of the bargain, a brand new flagship, a, a brand new flagship model awaits you. The amount of monthly payments will be determined by the phone being leased, and the subsequent choice data plan selected. Available phones. Available phones for the plan currently includes the latest and greatest models, including the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, Samsung Galaxy S7, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and the LG G5. There is some speculation that the Galaxy S8, the Galaxy S8 Plus, LG G6, and the Mate Z2 Force are also a part of the deal. Hopefully so. Keep in mind that device protection is not included with jump on demand, so that is important to consider. Even as paying off a device using a equipment installment plan can be eligible for jump on demand depending on how much of a balance is left on their handsets after a possible trading credit. If interested, call 1-800-866-2453. Existing T-Mobile subscribers can dial 611 from the T-Mobile branded headsets. For more information, so um, yeah, there it is, guys. So, um, yeah, so you, if you guys want to get a new phone every 30 days, which sounds like a good deal, in my opinion, you know, because you know, everyone wants the latest and greatest, no one doesn't want to wait two years to get a fucking phone, fuck that, because you know, technology changes every technology changes every fucking day and and um and fucking new shit comes out every day so you know people want to let people want the newest phone out there and shit and um yeah and team mobile things so you should be able to get a phone every 30 days and hopefully you know yeah and i think this is a good deal in my opinion uh um hopefully I, hopefully other carriers will do something like this like sprint verizon and uh at&t Cause like I said, everyone, everyone, no one doesn't want to wait two, two fucking years to get a new fucking phone. Fuck that. Cause people, be, cause people, uh, buy phones and people keep their phones for like a what, three to six months, sometimes a year maybe. Sometimes pe people buy phones all the time, you know. You know, but you know, people should have the option to upgrade their phones anytime they want. They shouldn't have to fucking uh. Wait 24 months up to, to upgrade a fucking phone, like, a, you know. Cause, you know, I want the fucking Note 8 or whatever. I, I want that phone, and 
I still got the V20, obviously. I've had the V20 since it came out. And hopefully I won't have to wait two years to get a new fucking phone. Hopefully not. But, um, but yeah, T-Mobile wants you to get a new phone every 30 days if you're under T-Mobile Jump On Demand plan. If you're a current member of the Jump On Demand plan, you need to call, uh, 6 one from your handset to learn more. But if you're a new customer, I guess, or if you're talking about switching up to the, uh, to the Jump plan, I guess you call this number down here, which is... 1-800-866-2453 I guess you call that number and um and find out what it has to do with that um so uh yeah getting the phone every 30 days sounds like a good a good idea in my opinion I'm sure that a lot of people would like this because you know like I said technology changes every fucking day new stuff comes out new features and phones are getting smarter and smarter they're getting more memory they're getting bigger and people want the newest phone out there and yeah, I mean, no one, no one doesn't want to wait fucking two fucking years for a phone to to get a new phone. Fuck that. And like I said, hopefully, Eric, hopefully that T-Mobile, hopefully that uh, AT and T, Sprint, and Verizon will have something like this as well. Hopefully, because you know, waiting twenty four months for a phone is just ridiculous. Because everyone, everyone wants the latest and greatest at that time so you know why well, wait 24 months when you can upgrade every 30 days but if you want to if you want to do it every 30 days you guys need to keep in mind that the fan has to be in uh the fan has to be in working condition um and if and looking as lovely as ever um for an example my v20 i have a verizon lg 20 as it is you guys probably know um, my phone's in good condition, hardware-wise, you know, it looks great, uh, there's no cracks on the screen or nothing like that, but the only problem that I have is software, that's the only issue that I have with my phone is software, but other than that, my phone works like it, other than the issues I have with the software, the phone works like it's supposed to, there's no cracks on the screen, there's no cracks on the camera lens or nothing like that, because the V20's camera lens is fragile as fuck. So you have to be careful with the LGB 20s camera lens on the back. You have to be careful with that. Um, cause this shit can shatter easily. Um, it doesn't say it has to be in great condition, but it says in working condition. So I don't know what condition that is. I don't know. It has to be like, uh, you should, the, the issue, you should be able to trade in your phone no matter what can, the condition is. But obviously the better your phone is, the more. That the more credit you you'll, you'll get for your trade in, but the uh, but the worse your phone is, the less credit you'll get. But you should be able to trade your phone in no matter what your condition of the phone is. Um, so um, yeah, it says it's for the simple choice plan, which is interesting. Seems like it's like outdated, you know, whatever. I don't know who has the simple choice plans. Anymore in terms of a lot of people now have the team of one plan now. Um, so the available funds for the uh, plan, like the um, includes the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge, and LG G5. It says that um, some speculations that the S8, S8 Plus, G6, and Meta Z2 Force are part of the, also part of the, and hopefully so. It says latest and greatest. So that has the iPhone 7 right now. Because the iPhone 8 is on the way in. The, um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the SA and the SA Plus and G6 and Moto Z2 are on this list as well. Because the S7 is old. The S7 is old. The G5 is old as hell. Uh, the G5 was... Uh, the G5 was an interesting phone. But, you know, they're all old phones. The S7 is old. The S7S is old. The G5 is old. Um. So um. Yeah, have the S8 and new have the S8 and newer friends are, are on this list as well. So yeah, man, I do like the fact that if you're on the Team Mobile Jump plan, you can get a phone every 30 days. What's hey, 12 phones a year? Fuck it, 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 dude. It'd be hard to figure out what phone you want. It'd be hard because getting 12 phones a year. It would be hard as hell, but you don't have to upgrade everything. If you get on this plan, if you get on this revision, if you get on the, this revision plan of the T-Mobile Jump on the Man plan, 
that allows you to get a fern every 30 days. You, you don't have to get it every 30 days if you don't want to. But you got to make sure that your ferns are in working condition. And you got to make sure that they, um, yeah, you got to make sure that, that your ferns are in working condition. And, and your, and the, and the fiscal, uh, fiscal looks like every friend is in, uh, is in good condition, no scratches, no, uh, cracks or nothing like that, no, whatever, so you basically have to keep it, uh, you basically have to keep it in great condition, I guess, uh, it says working condition, so I don't know, it has to be, I don't know if it's good condition or what, but, um, yeah, so what do you guys think about this T-Mobile jump? On demand plan revision that allows you to get a new friend every 30 days. What do you guys think about that? I'm sure that's, that that you guys would like that. Um, hopefully, every, hopefully the other carriers will have hopefully have something like this similar to this. Cause like I said, no one doesn't want to wait 24 fucking months to get a new fucking friend. Fuck that. Cause no one no one doesn't no one doesn't want to be tied down to a phone for two years. No, they don't, because everyone wants the latest and greatest thing and all that stuff, so, I mean, Team Mobile's giving you an option to do it. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about this Team Mobile jump plan that allows you to get a friend every 30 days? I know that you guys will like this, and if you guys are only in on Team Mobile, you, 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 you guys are hoping that other carriers will pick up on this and offer something similar to this, and hopefully they will. Cause like I said, who do the hell wants to be stuck with a friend for, t for fucking two years? Cause after like a month or two, your friend starts to get laggy as hell. Cause Android friends lag, no matter what Android friend you have, it will lag like like hell. And your friend starts to slow down at the time your friend starts to fuck up. Cause every friend has issues. So, I mean, just keep that in mind. Every friend has issues. No matter what friend you have, you will have issues. Um, so, um... Yeah, what do you guys think about this? Getting a friend every 30 days, which I think I like that a lot. And hopefully other carriers will have something like this in the future. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll try to compete with T-Mobile on this shit here. And uh, we'll see. So, um, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.